Hi, YouTube. Okay, today we are going to revisit the idea of the lithopane that I did in Mathematica tutorial 44. All right, so here I have that in the background paused. So this is my avatar that I 3D printed. And then I'll scroll through towards the end because what I did is show you how you can build a 3D model out of a photograph using Mathematica. All right, so let's see if I can find all right, so I'm already opening it in the FlashForge Dreamer software there. So maybe I'll go back a little bit and show you. Okay, here we are where what I've done is I've uh, I've raised, made a three-dimensional model from the quantity of the red in in each of the pixels. Okay, so now what I'm going to do in this tutorial with you is take it to the next level okay this one I'm going to call let the blind see all right I know that's a bit out there but um, I wonder if somebody can get inspired to actually build something that a blind person could wear um, say up here a camera that would turn uh, live video into something that they could feel uh, and sort of use to see their way around okay so that's the idea now of course I'm not doing this but what I'm doing is some Mathematica code to um, make an animation from a video uh, and and turn that into a, a moving animation of, of three-dimensional things Okay, so let's get started. Now, I'll show you the code, first of all, for making this 3D model from a photograph. Okay, so I'll bring that code into our vision right here, copy and paste, and then let's show it to you. Okay, so I'll, I'll briefly describe this again. Um, so I have now created a function which I call litho, all right, short for lithopane. All right, it is a, a function which takes in some local variables. So I put the, the names of those letters right in here. And then piece by piece, I, I say what those letters are and they are not to be remembered outside the function, just locally. Okay, so the first one takes image data from the photograph, all right, but this is a function of P and P will be a photograph. All right, so yes, now the next one extracts the first component. That's the red pixel of, of each of the triples within this. So this is a collection, triples of red, green, and blue values in, in the image. All right, then I ask how many, uh, how many rows? Yeah, how many rows, are, rows of pixels are in this image? And then this one transposes the image, so basically mirrors it, flips it, transposes it as a matrix, and then counts the length of it. And so that tells me how many columns of pixels are in the image. All right, h equals one. All right, this constructs a cuboid. Okay, and it, what it does is it takes the quantity of pixel and builds a cuboid uh, of that height, except it amplifies it by 20, just to make it more visible. Okay, so that's what that does. That's W, which is the last local variable there. And then this last thing, which is the output of this function, shows a graphics, a three-dimensional graphic of the result. But what I've done here is added to change the viewpoint, right, to a different particular viewpoint. So this will be better for us to look at. Okay, now that's that. That's basically how I would construct construct uh, a three-dimensional image like this one here in the video. Okay, so let's trust that. If you don't, then go back and watch my uh, Mathematica tutorial number 44. It's quite interesting. All right, so the next piece of code. All right, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to try to see if this works together while I'm using the OBS software. Okay, but what I, I'm going to show you 
very simple command for, for getting my webcam to take a photo in Mathematica. It's called current image. Okay, so we'll try this. And I should smile. Uh, I don't know if it'll do this while I've got OBS recording, but we'll see. It might just run forever. Uh, and it's probably of a huge pixel size by default because this, this uh, Logitech, Logitech webcam I'm using, uh, it's quite high quality. Okay, which has pros and cons. Current image. Um, Okay, so maybe it doesn't work while while I am while I'm using the OBS software. Anyway, I'll show you the code anyhow. All right. Uh, let's see. Did I execute this? I'll do. I'll do it just in case. Okay, so that should be in memory. Then I'll come down here and write the next piece of code. But I'll describe what this is doing. Okay, so what this code is doing. This function block is a bit like module in that it's saying these two items are local variables. I'm setting them equal to, but they're only remembered inside the function. All right, and then after that, um, I say, you know, do the, perform this activity, right? Which in this case is to take, to take a photo, but not just one photo. I said take 50 photos, okay, 50 photos here. And then I've specified the image size with these two options. Now look, this image size that I've specified is actually really, uh, really small in pixel numbers. Now I did this intentionally because uh, I want this to, to be able to run um, and not um, kill my computer basically because, you know, my computer's quite old, it's getting fragile and, um, well, you know how things go. We all need to get new computers to be able to run computations. Okay, so that's basically what this does. It takes a series of photographs with my webcam, and then um, and then what I would get is a whole bunch. I would get a list of, of, of photographs, right? It's actually quite nice to take because it's not as smooth and you get something artistic if you were to uh, animate that after that. Okay, now the next one, the next list I'm going to create is the following one I'm about to paste in here. Now it says to tabulate, and then I'm applying litho to each of the images that my webcam is taking, okay? So my webcam takes a bunch of pictures of me doing this, moving around and such. And then this function here is doing uh, this stuff on each of those images. Okay, so you can imagine that quite a lot of computations are going on and so I don't want my picture to be taken with a lot of pixels to do this. Okay, so I will now get rid of this cell cut. All right, and then I'm going to show you the last command, which is this one list animate so what list animate does is it glues together a sequence of photographs and makes an animation and so if you did this you get something nice and artistic where you know you get every little bit of movement uh and it looks fun you could probably put that on on instagram and impress people okay so now i wonder if this is going to work so let's run this, shift enter, and while I do that, just in case it does work, I'll do some moving around, all right? So I'll put my hair, I'll do this a bunch of times. Well, look, I can see that it's already not going to work because I've got the OBS software going at the same time. Okay, but this is the code, and now I'll have to shut off the software run this and then come back to you and edit okay so i executed that it took a while but it worked and now i can show you the results so this is the code and then i'll scroll down and play it so you remember that i put my arms up like this 
did a bit of that uh well that was captured so i'll show you now press play hopefully it gets a bit more smoother right there's a lot of computation going on so um it's not the smoothest maybe i just need a new video card so uh it was playing better before Okay, there, my, there I'm putting my arms up like that. All right, and you can see how this works. It looks like it's going smoother now. It's, it repeats, it loops over itself. Alrighty, that's all I have to show you. I'll see you next time. Bye.